on the California Speedway. Come back for the start. And Matt Maladin, who really is making plenty of the running. He won in 2000 and 2001, was second in 2002. He's been faithful to Suzuki, apart from one year in 1997 when he was on a Ducati and had his worst ever finish here at Daytona when he finished down in 66th position. However, Maladin, the Aussie, is doing incredibly well out here. He's got Eric Bostrom, the pole sitter, in his sights. And with the knowledge that Bostrom's going to be taking three pit stops, it really is all looking rather rosy for the 31-year-old at the moment. Eric Bostrom, though, is still out in front, and he'll be hoping to take the family name. Although it's Maladin now moving past on the inside. He was waved through, I think, by Eric Bostrom. And they're both into the pits. Malatin in the pits, Greg White is there. Ralph Shaheen. The, Hans Lasky works the fuel, it's in, the tires are changing, he's away, and you can hear the cheers in the background. A stunning stop for the Yoshimura gang. Eric Bostrom in right with him, so Matt Maladin makes the pit stop strategy, a short stop strategy work, a quicker pit stop, and he goes back out in front of Eric Bostrom. Unofficial on my wristwatch, a 13 and a half second stop for Maladin, 18 seconds for Eric Bostrom. Matt Maladin with fresh rubber goes back out onto the racetrack. You see him sliding around. It's so scary, Brian. Yeah, you just can't describe. When, you, when they put new tires on, you have to tell yourself, simmer down, I got new tires, I need to chill. And uh, first time into the International Horseshoe, Matt Maladin slid both tires. You see just cresting into the red limiter there, Matt Maladin. He works the last few corners. 10.2 seconds over Eric Bosser. That's a lot to make up for these other teams. He set a benchmark that uh, really going to stand out for a long time. Checkered flag coming out. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome please. The winningest rider in AMA Superbike. are going to be cheering on Jake Zeski for tomorrow's race. With the big man today, and then as usual, Matt Maladin. Again, perfectly executed strategy and a good choice on the setup.